So, in this lecture we shall we shall sketch a proof of the fact that G L n R plus. So, this is those n cross n matrices says that determinant of A is positive is path connected. So, we shall we shall see this as an application of whatever we have done so far and uh, okay. So, let us denote. So, denote g by this g l n r plus. Okay. So, we will do this. So, first of all it suffices to show to connect to show that any matrix A in G can be connected to the identity by a path in G. Right? So, we have our G over here. So, given any matrix A, we can connect it to identity right? using a path. So, that is what we are going to prove and we will do it in several steps. So, uh, let us begin. So, let A be in G. right? So, then the first step is then we can join A to B in G. So, when we say join A to B in G, we always mean join by a by a path which is completely contained inside G, right. So, where B is such that B 1 1 the first entry is not 0. Yeah? So, this B 1 1 that should be non 0. Okay. So, how do we do this? So, if A 1 1 is non 0 then we just take to be the constant path. right? So, gamma of t is equal to A. So, the constant path is continuous and therefore, we can just take b to be equal to a, right? So on the other hand, if a one one is equal to zero, uh, so then since g l n, since g is an open subset, open subset of m n r, right? Uh, and m n r has the product topology. There exists an epsilon positive such that the set mm, u is those b in m n r with the absolute value of a i j minus the absolute minus b i j is strictly less than epsilon uh, for all i comma j right. So, this is going to be contained in g l n this g right uh, simply because g l n r uh, plus is open inside m n r yeah and okay so we can yeah, for instance and m n r has a standard topology or product topology or, yeah so we can see this in many ways uh, okay so we just take any b in u with b 1 1 not equal to 0 Okay. Uh, then take the path gamma of gamma from 0 1 to u given by gamma of t is equal to t times a plus 1 minus t times b. Okay. So, 
this path is going to be completely contained inside u because each coordinate of gamma p i j right so this is a i j and this b i j so the distance between them is less than epsilon so for any t gamma t i j is going to be over here somewhere in between a i j and b i j so the distance of that from a i j is going to be less than epsilon so it's going to be contained inside u which is contained inside g right so this implies that uh, so this gives the required step 1 right so we have joined a using a path to this matrix b and b11 is non zero okay so let's go to step 2 if b is in g and b11 is non zero so we let so recall this eijs these are the elementary matrices so these are matrices of the type Okay, so instead of E i j, right? So, right, right. So then, there exists a matrix E one of the type one. These entries are something and on the diagonal we have 1 and all these are 0 yeah so there is a matrix of this type says that e1 when we multiply it on the left by b all these except for the first one all the other entries in the first column become 0 okay Okay, so this first one is going to be lambda. So let's assume that B11 is lambda. Okay, so similarly, there exists a matrix E2, right, of the type 1. So the first row is of this type and in the diagonal we have 1s and all the other entries are 0 right such that e1 b e2 is of this type so lambda all the other entries in the first row are 0 all the other entries in the first column are 0 and here we have a matrix uh, So, we consider this map uh, 0 1 this is G L and R plus which is given as follows. So, T goes to 1 minus T times identity plus T times E 1 into b into 1 minus t times identity plus t times c2 okay so uh, we need to check that first as a map of sets the image actually lands inside glnr plus but when we take determinant for each t let's look at this matrix One minus t times identity plus t times e one one e one right. So e one is a matrix of this type. So one easily checks that once again this is going to be a matrix of this type. Right. So this implies determinant of this matrix is equal to 1 okay so similarly determinant of 1 minus t plus t e 2 is going to be 1 so this matrix is now going to be of this type 
near 0 and the first yeah, is going to be of the same type as E 2. Okay. So, this implies that determinant of gamma of t is actually equal to determinant of b which we know is positive. Yeah. So, therefore, as a map of sets indeed the image of gamma lies inside GL and R plus. Next we want to check it is continuous, yeah. but gamma to check gamma is continuous we can just since GL and R plus since GL and R plus is contained in M and R and has a subspace topology. It, is, it suffices to check that the coordinates of gamma are continuous. Are continuous, right? But the coordinates of gamma are polynomials. But these coordinates. are polynomials in T yeah, and so are continuous. Let us easily check when we multiply out these matrices, these three matrices, right? it is clear that the coordinates will be polynomials in T and so gamma is continuous since each coordinate function is continuous. So, we have this path uh, from 0 1 to GL and R plus. Now, gamma of 0 is equal to uh, we can check it is equal easily it is equal to b and gamma of 1 is equal to E 1 b E 2 which we know is a matrix of this type. B. Okay. So, this completes step 2. So, this completes step 2. Right. So, if B is a matrix such that B 1 1 is not 0, then B can be connected to a matrix of this type. Okay. So, let us go to step 3. So, if lambda is positive, then this matrix lambda zeros d uh, so let us look at this path so maybe so consider c to be equal to lambda all these zeros, right? So then, and let lambda be positive, right? So then, C can be joined to one and a matrix D prime. Okay, so, obviously, this is in G. Yeah? So, we are starting with some matrix C in G of this type, then we can join it to uh, some D prime like this, yeah? uh, where D prime belongs to G L n minus 1 R plus. So, how do we do that? So, we look at this path. So, we look at this matrix. So, T times lambda inverse plus 1 minus T. So, this is the diagonal matrix. So, in A 1 1 it has this entry and in all the other diagonal entries it has 1. Right. So, what is this? what happens over here at this entry. So, this is joining. So, lambda is positive. So, lambda inverse lies over here and let us say 1 is over here. So, then this is the straight line joining 1 with lambda inverse. So, and we just multiply this with C.
Okay. So, uh, when we take determinant, so let us just once again we check that when we take this is equal to gamma of t. So, determinant of gamma of t is equal to t times lambda inverse plus 1 minus t into determinant of c which is f a positive. So, therefore, the image of gamma actually lands inside GLNR plus and once again this is continuous uh, because each of the coordinate functions are polynomials in t in the variable t. Right? So, um, and notice that gamma of 0 is equal to uh, c and gamma of 1 is So, lambda inverse 1 times c which is lambda t right. So, this is equal to 1 0 t this is in g l plus. Okay. So, if so similarly if lambda is strictly less than 0 uh, then this path t times mod lambda inverse plus 1 minus t 1 1 times c connects c with minus 1 a matrix of this type right say let us say some d prime. So, so now we want to show that this matrix d prime can be connected to a matrix of the form 1 d prime prime. So, this is in G and we want to connect this to in G right via a path in G. Uh, so, for this let us check that. So, consider this matrix T times minus 1 this 2 cross 2 matrix. this is equal to minus t yeah and this has determinant t square plus 1 minus t whole square which is positive right and similarly t times this matrix plus 1 minus t times 0 1 has determinant positive right. So, what this means is that uh, this minus 1 minus 1 can be joined to 1 comma 1 in g l 2 r plus right. So, in fact, this first thing that is a path from 0 1 okay, that is a path joining minus 1 minus 1 to 0 1 minus 1 0 in this path is completely contained inside g l 2 r plus right. And similarly, there is a path completely contained inside g l 2 r plus which joins this matrix to 1 1 0 0 the identity right. So, therefore, this minus identity can be joined to identity in G L 2 using a path inside G L 2 R plus right. So, we will use this by a path. So, there exists such a path because we can just come put these two paths together as we had seen when we proved that uh, 
being when we define path equivalence classes. Okay, so now we define a map from gamma to zero from zero one using this gamma. Okay, let's say gamma tilde to G L N R plus by gamma one one t gamma one two t gamma two one t gamma two two t and here are all zeros here identity and zero over here right so clearly this path joins uh, minus one minus one one two one one to the identity in G L N R plus right so right so then the path from zero one to G L N R plus given by uh, t goes to okay so this path is what we are calling gamma tilde t so gamma tilde t times this minus 1 d prime right so it joins uh, minus 1 d prime Two, one, prime prime. Let's say. Okay. So, thus we conclude that if C in GLNR plus is of the type. lambda it's a block matrix is of this type yeah so then c can be joined by a path in glnr plus to a matrix to of the type d prime prime right and then d prime prime is forced to be in g l and minus 1 r plus right so uh, now so what have we done so far we start with the matrix a we connected it by a path to a matrix b says that b 1 1 is not equal to 0 then we connected it to a matrix c such that uh, C is of this type D right. So then we connected this to a matrix of the type 1 D D prime prime right. So by induction so by induction on N we may assume that d prime prime can be connected to identity n minus 1 in g l n r plus in g l using a path gamma right uh, so then uh, the path 1 0 so gamma of t in glnr 
plus connects a d prime prime to to the identity right so we have this path is connecting to this right thus we have proved this is only a sketch and I will leave it as an exercise to uh, fill in the details and convince yourself that all the arguments are correct. Every element A in G L and R plus can be connected using a continuous path. gamma from 0 1 to g l n r plus to the identity so this proves that g l n r plus is connected is path connected And in fact, connected because we know that part connected spaces are connected. So, we will end this lecture here.